Welcome back to the video. So it has officially been over a year since Shadow vs. Evolve has been released in the English side and now it's a great time to really reflect overall and see what potential improvements that Shadow vs. Evolve from side games and Boost Road side and other stuff could be um, improved on. As someone who really loves to um, emphasize improvements, I'm really excited to do a video like this kind of reflecting on what has basically happened over a year and seeing what could be better overall. Now I'm going to do some stuff a little bit differently, trying something new out here. So it's just going to be on the screen some gameplay of my past stuff from AOGG's tournament. So if you want, you can feel free to click off and have this in the background while you do some other stuff and you listen to what they have to say for what could be improved for Shadow vs Evolve. Now I have five different points over here. A lot of these I'm basically going to go kind of not really scripted as much, mainly because um, it's something that I like to do on my streams. I like to just have some open thoughts. I just mainly have some bullet points and want to give some main insight of what could be overall improved. First thing I like to um, talk about that could be improved for Shadow vs Evolve is more online tournament support. Now this is mainly something that I've been clamoring a lot as someone who really loves to play on Discord and also loves to play basically across the world. So um, I, it's really great to see a lot of different webcam games from people from no matter which of the areas. And I think what's really great about it is mainly because I'm used to um, Bushra Springfest Online. There was uh, that as well and then also Bushra Rumble Online and I would like to have potentially an equivalence that would be pretty fun for Bushro to organize. Um, I really like the concept of BRO minus the uh, controversies. Um, I really think though that it would be a nice showing to see how people could take it on an international stage without going to all these different um, areas. I know that some people mostly play their stuff online and I think it would be pretty cool as well to see some region splits as well. Um, going to the concept of BRO and I think that that's pretty cool that uh, this can be a potential idea. I already like it with some of the online tournaments that I play in and speaking of which it's we're seeing a lot of great successes with online tournament stuff like on one generation uh, having their tournaments on Sundays. We also have SVE Master coming up with their prizing tournament. We also have Burn One, um, popular content creator who is also doing their tournaments on Wednesdays. So we have a lot of different stuff and a lot of different hype and great showings overall for these online scenes. And also taking a look at stuff on Discord and such, there's a lot of main show rounds and a lot of people playing, whether it's on simulators or on webcam. But I'd like to see more online tournament support overall from Bush Road Side Games. The second thing I would like to see improve for Shadow vs Evolve would be trying out more things different from JP. Um, whether it's stuff like potentially unhitting Shenlong, even though a lot of people say that's a controversial idea, or even trying to hit something that we would pretty much not expect. Um, something that could be rampant around of how different JP and EN plays. Um, it would be pretty cool to see uh, the main difference because you see a lot of different styles. And as well, you're dealing with um, basically the whole globe. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting. I overall think that um, there could be some potential other ideas if we can see some unexpected deck and a lot of people that really play it. Would they potentially see an emergency hit that we don't expect? Um, I think a lot of things would be a good differentiation from Japan, mainly because I feel like you can kind of take a lot of different ways and also really promote theory crafting, which I of course love to do. Uh, and try to see how you can make a deck still successful in many circumstances. It really brought it to my light because of Uwamusume recently getting their unhit, and in Japan they never got a hit, so I'd like to see something different coming out from this side. Um, it'll be really cool to see a lot of different decks spring up with potential hits, or even just um, doing choice restrictions and stuff. I feel like I, um, I think I did a video on Choice, um, should choice restriction be added into Shadow vs Evolve, but uh, we'll take a look and see what potentially will be done there. Third thing I would like to point out for improvement would be trying out different tournament rules. I think this is mostly in the direction of trying to help new players um, garner them and seeing also what could be done on that. I like the idea mainly after Worlds when they announced Glory Finder and when Glory Finder have it's a basically a pretty good um, grasp on, uh, on EDH formats. 
from Magic. So I would like to definitely see different tournament rules, not just Glory Finder. I'd like to see um, shops try out stuff like, heck, best of three. I used to do best of three in my shop. Um, so that could be a potential idea for some like theme tournaments. It doesn't have to be like direct competitive, but you can try to uh, try out different stuff. You can try two deck uh, or conquest. That's something that I would like to hopefully <laughs> the next upcoming um, Worlds format would be. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different areas you can see. You could also try Crosscraft. You could try um, stuff similar to Open 8. Like, the concepts of like Glory Finder Open 8 have really opened my eyes of how far you can take Shadow vs. Evolve just with a direction alone. Heck, you can even try something with like Go All Neutral Craft uh, without picking a class. So well, there's also some main theme ideas there. Um, it's also cool because when looking at some of the other games, like the Weiss Wars um, Title Cups, um, you have like the upcoming Idol Cup too, uh, where there is um, trying to more so go to the direction of playing decks that's particular go to one theme. I like to see that as well in Shadow vs. Evolve. Fourth thing I would like to ask would be more exclusiveness in English. Now this is something that I was a bit more surprised on when it first dropped. Uh, a lot of people were very upset that the La Plus Darkness collab was not coming, and it might be looking like the same in set 6. We are not looking to get the new Hall Life stuff, but uh, what's not to say that we could try to get our own Hall Life stuff more particularly in English? We've already seen in set 3 the Millie Parfait collab, um, because the original collab was uh, from Niji Sanji JP, so we could potentially see um, a direction to go, okay, we've already worked with Hall Alive in the past from Boucher outside. Let's see if we can go add in something different, like um, why not Mori Calliope in uh, Abysscraft or Ina in Runecraft, or um, you know, there's a lot of different examples that you can go, that I can know off the top of my head. And this doesn't have to just be um, Hall Live or VTubers, it could be pretty much anything that suits your fancy. I know that uh, the White Shorts title, or the White Shorts game, uh, Bootstrode has, has some good user connections, and Bootstrode could also do their own IPs, especially with the most recent Child vs. Evolve and Cardfight Vanguard. Um, those are some potential ideas that could be done. Um, I'd like to also see, um, not just with the Glory Finder, because I believe JP doesn't have Glory Finder, we could also see potential exclusiveness on collabs, like mini collabs that um, might not be potentially possible. Um, I've seen this done at good amount of lengths in Cardfight Vanguard, so what's not to say put it in Shadow vs. Evolve. Uh, I especially love to see that we will get some opportunities as there's some mini collabs that happen in JP, and I hope that English potentially gets the same. The last point I'd like to make, and this is a bit more dear to my heart, but uh, more support for content creation. Uh, what I really love about the community of Shadow vs. Evolve is that a lot of people have really grown into their own when it comes to content. Sharing out the game, uh, doing different directions within the game, and it would be pretty great to honestly overall see um, how a lot of people could um, get some nice benefits. Like, um, I think with the recent stuff within the Ambassadors, um, with Glory Finder, we'd like to see some, a lot of people who've been really doing the client creation for a great amount of time, um, be rewarded for that. Um, why not have, like, a client creator tournament? Um, that could be a potential idea that I have in the future or someone probably takes up that idea. Or, heck, you can have stuff like, a lot of podcasts have been, uh, Rising and Shadow vs. Evolve. Uh, why not try to make, like, a super big, um, podcast that help hosted by side games Or help get some main news for that. Um, there's a lot of different areas. You don't have to just be an ambassador overall. Um, shouts to the um, ambassadors, um, Different Fight, Ignidius, and RZR. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people who've been doing a lot of content creation, really enjoying themselves within the game, and would honestly love to see a lot more extensions towards a lot of people who've been working to promote Shadow vs. Evolve uh, within our community, and also trying to figure out, oh, there's a lot of different stuff out there that some people don't know. So that could be pretty great to see some more faces on that too, in both like YouTube and Twitch and also any other content that I do. Um, recently, AIOGG have been doing some blog posts and similar to, um, for a long time, Shinto Senpai. Um, there's a lot of different areas for content to make in Shadow vs. Evolve, especially with how different the games have been region to region. Other than that, that's been pretty much it on stuff on the top of my head. Um, I kind of rambled a bit on some of them, but it's just some of the main overall uh, reflection that I want to have regarding SVE. And excited to honestly see what's coming up 
in um, 2024 and also next year 2025, especially with the coming up Grand Showdown and also uh, BCS, of course, uh, extending all the way into 2025. And the hype is still really great in Shadowverse Evolve. Um, a lot of people are really been excited. You can kind of see the uh, reprint sets coming up too. And people are excited for the future sets, um, especially who have been following stuff in JP and knowing that with, we're getting stuff like Idolmaster and uh, other sets that have been pretty much announced or will be announced. Um, Looking, like we're probably much fine, gonna be pretty much following the timeline. That's what I meant to say. Um, other than that, um, the presentation will also be coming up, so we'll get some more news, hopefully get locations. But otherwise, thank you all for joining in with learning about um, what my improvements could be from Shadowverse Evolve. I'd like to know what you would all think in the comments below. What improvements do you think Shadowverse Evolve should do? And also, what are your reflections? What are your favorite moments from SVE so far after one year in English? Other than that, thank you all for watching. Continue to embrace the darkness, and we will see you all in the next video.